Austrians made it over the line over in Group C in Euro 2020. Of course, made it through to the last 16. But now it's a bit of a waiting game for the Ukraine. Are they in? Are they out? We'll take a little look. Next. Right, folks, back once again with another match review. Looking back at the old group C encounter win, and you can possibly go home or go or, or lose, and you possibly could go home. We'll take a look at that in a bit. A big, big shout out to the VIPs, and of course, if you are new, smash your subscribe button, get your bang out today with all things Euro 2020 related, Blackburn Rovers related. Wow, football related. We got it all here. Boys, under more roosties. That's why, boys and girls, of course, the train could be going home, and the Austrians are already rolling into the next round. We already know who they're going to be taking on in the last 16. I'll reveal all of that in a minute. Of course, big, big shout out to the VIPs, and of course, Smash the old subscribe. Here we go, lads. Here we bloody go. Take a look back at the result. Yes, indeed. It was a 1-0 win in the end. Christian Baumgartner with a one to go on the 21st minute. In what looks, in fact, what was a one-sided match. Of course, 50-50 straight down the middle possession-wise. But guess what? It's what you do with it that makes that counts in the end. And as you can see from the, the, the chances, 18 shots uh, for the Austrians. Four of them on target. So they, they did pepper them a little bit. Eight of them off target. Six were blocked, slash slave, whatever you want to call it. As for the uh, Ukrainians, despite chasing the game, only five shots for them. Two of them off target. Three uh, were blocked in one way or the other. Well, two actually were blocked. Uh, and one win in the back of the net. Goodness gracious me. Corners, though, going in favour of Austria. Four corners for the Ukrainians. But that doesn't really tell the, of the, the, the picture of the party. It was even Stevens possession-wise. But Austria were just more clinical. They created more chances. And they wanted it more. They absolutely wanted it more. Ukraine are not necessarily out. But they're not necessarily in either. They're going to be looking over the shoulders, of course. Okay, we'll, we'll elaborate on that in a minute. We can at least compare the scenario for them up against, I think it's the Swiss, who are in the waiting game as well. See where they, they both lie at the moment. And of course, we'll, by the end of the day, we'll have a little bit more picture. Of course, it would be three of the six groups that would have been done. So we'll have a vague idea as who is in and who is out at the end of the day. But anyway, of course, stats-wise, going in favour of Austria, they did deserve it. And if you do play this game back, you will notice... Austria, too good to be to, to be to going out. And then they've set themselves up with a banger. We'll elaborate on that in a minute. Let's take a look at the old uh, shot, uh, shot grid then, shall we? Of course, uh, the light, light colour here is the Ukrainians. Of course, Charles Pepper got a little bit, uh, but couldn't really get anything out of it. So they, they did get a lot of the shots, though, within the 18-yard box. As for Austria, uh, they just tried their, 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 their best from all over the place. A couple of little wild ones. A lot of them within the 18-yard box, a couple of uh, long-range badges as well. But Arnautovic was busy, very, very active. Sabitzer looked okay as well towards back end of the game. We'll take a look at the match reviews and see how, of course, the computers uh, 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 gave the, the match ratings. This is the Ukrainian touch map, as you can see, coming down the right-hand side uh, for the most part. Keeper here being very, very busy. And, of course, uh, some possession on the left-hand side, but not really as much as you can see this little pocket of orange right here. And, again, very, very defensive, sat back. That's where all the possession was. 50% possession was most, more often than not, 90% of that 50 was probably in the back back third there. As for the Austrians, a bit more spread out, a bit more even. Stevens, of course, coming down the left and the right-hand side. And the keeper also very, very active as well as we uh, try to uh, paint a better picture of this. I'll take a little look at the touch map here. Here's the touch map for the Ukrainians again. Uh, keeper very, very busy at the back. And, of course, as you can see, it looks like a lot. it was spread around a bit. We did uh, talk about the, uh, uh, briefly about the passes. Uh, what about the touches? Touches, touches. Uh, well, there's a 455 passes for the Austrians, 454 for Ukrainians, uh, with a pass rate, success rate of 80% for Austria, 82 for Ukraine. But guess what? It uh, didn't really matter in the most. Aerial duels, what about that? 42, so actually 42, uh, 10 aerial duels won by uh, Austria and just seven for Ukraine. This is the touch map for Austria. And again, a bit more, it seems a bit more lighter, but it's more, more uh, consistent as well. Uh, let's take a little look at this starting lineup, starting with, of course, Ukraine. Here they go, coming at you with Bushkan between six, Matavenko, Sabriani, Mikulenko, and Kelivav at the back. Of course, Sabriani is only 18 years of age. He's the face of the place. And, of course, in the books of Dynamo Kiev, we have Kelivav. Uh, sorry, he was at the back as well. Suchuk, Shinchenko, Shakovenko with Madiovsky, Yamalenko, and Yamachuk up top. The Yam uh, Yamachuk and Yamalenko both got a couple of goals already. Will they get any more? That's the question. They're going to have to wait and see. But the face of the place is Ruslan Malyovsky, of course, on the books of Atalanta with these days. Rated at 33 million pounds. Of course, total value, 143 million, 25.9. Still quite a young young team here. And, of course, got the makings of a team that will compete uh, for the World Cup, at least uh, in the latter stages, or at least the groups anyway. Uh, let's look at Austria, of course. Backman between the sticks. Hinterreng and Dragovic, uh, Alaba and Lema at the back. We've got Glu Grittish, Schlager, Lema, Baumgartner with the goal, and Sabitza, of course, and Arch Nantovic as well. Sabitza, I think, is, is up for grabs. 
subs around about 15 million something like that absolutely crazy peanuts um and uh, Bart Gartner got the 21 year old Bart Gartner as well on the books of Hoffenheim did get an injury so we'll see if he can make it through to the next round of course uh, so of course Austria are already there as for the subs for uh, Ukraine we saw the likes of Marlos coming on uh, to Shankinov another young gun 27 million pound rated and of course uh, Benz Bezadine 25 years old as well so as for the, uh, the substitutes for Austria we saw Zlagna uh, Shopf and uh, Kecajevic coming on again, but uh, too little. Take a look at the old situation and the old uh, match ratings then for you. Yeah, of course, uh, what are we looking at here? At the back, we've got 7.2 for Kadavev. Uh, he was uh, probably the better player for Ukraine. It was more of a defensive role for them. As for Austria, the amount of match, uh, in fact, for total, it looks like David Alaba with a 7.9 to 7.6 for the goalkeeper as well. Uh, Bachmann and, of course, uh, Schlager uh, in midfield. Schlanger, Schlanger even, uh, for 7.6. Uh, Schnatovich with a 6.6. Sibitza, uh, where are you? Sibitza with a 7 as well down your throat. Um, so, yeah, pretty dab squib for the attacking players for Ukraine. And ultimately, if you look on this, in, in all fairness, I think Austria with a better side uh, at these two uh, over the course of the three. Uh, even though the, the Ukrainians gave a good account themselves against the Dutch, it could be a uh, game over for them already. As for down the foot of the, the graphic here, you can see where well, the drama happened. Of course, the goal in the first half and of course the subs as well. And of course, uh, Baumgartner being pulled uh, just before the break. Let's take a look at what's been said on social media this shall we? We've got Fighter of 18 said, Ukraine was still bright this tournament though. It just didn't do what it needed in the most important moment. Uh, respect Ukraine. Uh, more 7RM, 7RM said, Austria, we are still alive. Meanwhile, Roman, uh, who know, five, he says, Austria as a team impressed the most. Probably the strongest squad for the last 10 years. Wow, wow, we were. Uh, Balu Mandarenga said, Xavier Schlanger, well played, Austria. Fa Fa Freiko Ariub said, bad performance, Ukraine, bad team doesn't deserve to be in the tournament uh, Carlos Walker said oh no it means they face Azuri now so soon yes indeed you've got to beat the best to be the rest of course uh, boring and tired looking football from Ukrainian team that's Palestine or uh, words to that effect Take a look at the situation over in the group. Let's kind of figure it all out then for you. Let's take a look at the situation over in the group then. Here it is. It's game over. Of course, the Dutchies and Austrians are through. Uh, Ukraine played the waiting game with three points. Of course, North Macedonia. They came. Of course, they participated. They got a couple of goals. Uh, fair play there for them. But they did lose their final game against the Netherlands quite heavily. Even though they were already out. They were the first team to bow out. And of course, they will be uh, packing the bags for sure. The this is the situation over in the bracket at the moment. Here we go. Of course, we know one match out of the... Uh, out of the, what is it, eight matches that are going to be deciding over the over the weekend and beyond. It is Italy and it is up against Austria. Of course, the Dutchies are there waiting for, uh, of course, their opponent to be figured out. Uh, as for the uh, the lucky thirds, here it comes at you, the table at the moment. Uh, Ukraine are sitting in fourth at the moment now. That could get better. It could get worse as well. It's not looking great at the moment. Switzerland, of course, have four points. That's probably what you need. Um, and, of course, we'll find out what's going to happen with Finland, Denmark and Russia later. All could potentially on be on three points. That goal difference for Ukraine could bite them in the ass. And it, oh, I just think it's already over for them. Uh, there's too many, too many if ands and buts to get figured out uh, towards the back end of this. But two of the uh, uh, of the thirds will go home. Uh, four will go through. And right now, Ukraine are in. But of course, it could all change as well. So. In order for them to be in it still at the end of this day, they would need uh, maybe a Russia win over the Danes uh, and, of course, a heavy Belgian win uh, to put uh, the negative goal difference and push maybe even Ukraine up to third. That's what they'll be hoping for. And, of course, it could happen, but also it could go a completely different way. Uh, but that is it, my, my friends, at the moment. Of course, be sure to give the video some love and smash the old thumbs up, smash the old subscribe. Check out the links down below on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, and, of course, Patreon as well. And we'll be kicking it all off with the old live watch-alongs again into the last 16, so make sure you come back for that. They'll be on YouTube and, of course, we'll have the old uh, name of footballer and all sorts of uh, games and, 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 and stuff to keep you active or if the game is a bit of a damp squid. We could also have panels as well, so look forward to all of that. So make sure you give the video some love and smash your thumbs up and, of course, smash your subscribe. The race to 25k is right here, right now, and, of course, I could do with your support. But until then, thanks for watching. So see you soon. Until then, I am out.